Welcome back to Living in Wait and to Hawaii's Kitchen. We're on the road not too far away from we all, we, where we're always at, uh, KHON or Salted Arcaka Aku, but right down the road is Yaya's, a place that maybe you've heard of, but Rebecca's here to tell us all about it. She's the Director of Operations. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Uh, a nice vibe. When you walk in, good colors, uh, nice bar, big area. Tell us about Yaya's. Well, I'm glad you approve. <laughs> um, Yaya's is a locally owned chop house, um, made, created, designed for the locals. It's a place you can come as you are, um, shopping at the area boutiques, after a long day's work for Pauhana at our bar, uh, dressed up for a special occasion, we welcome everyone. What makes this place, in your opinion, what makes it so unique? Yaya's is most unique because of our menu. Because of the focus of the prime, great cuts of steak, we have multiple dry-aged steaks. Um, very flavorful, nice, beefy, juicy flavor, especially our ribeye that we're going to offer to you today. It's bone-in, 28 days, dry-aged, delicious. And our seafood, my favorite, I'm a seafood lover. The pan roast, lobster pan roast, is a great fresh seafood. We offer some local seafood items, um, our fresh catch. We offer a great salmon, a wild caught salmon. So when we were going down the list of Mona's restaurants, I saw yayas and I saw <laughs> ribeyes, tomahawks. I saw the seafood and I said, yes. But I said it, yes. Kind of just yeah, came out. Yeah. It, just, it just came out that way. A lot of fun, though, that happens down here. I mean, the food is always good, but I mean, the vibe is kind of cool. It is, yeah. It's um, our owners, I think, as most restaurateurs, love to dine out. So they land at steaks houses a lot. And they love the food, the mm. cuisine, the quality items. But the ambiance is preferred more of this type of setting, a little bit. Um, more casual, elevated dining, but still welcoming. Mm -hmm. um, we can relax and have a good time. So they wanted to make something where they brought that great quality food, but uh, you could enjoy yourself in lots of different scenarios. And this restaurant is uh, one in a line of restaurants that mm -hmm. Chef Bo has been able to, to hook up. And tell us about some of the other restaurants, because like you said, there are some other, you can get some other food, but similar food at some of the other restaurants. Yes, so Chef Bo is also our chef and co-owner of Uncle Bo's restaurant. So we have a location on Kapuhulu Ave and a location on North Shore in Haleiwa, a part of the store lots by Matsumoto's. Um, those are our, our babies, our starts of the restaurants that they opened up. Our Uncle Bo's location on Kapuhulu has been open almost 16 years now. We're going to go into the kitchen in just a moment uh, with, he doesn't want me to call him Uncle, but I'll, I'll just call him Chef Bo. But... Yeah. But it is the bow that we've been talking about. Uh, and what are we going to be making today? We are going to make his spin on our A5 Wagyu. It's Yaya Yakiniku. Um, oh, yes. Also, uh, my favorite are lobster pan roast to have that great fresh uh, seafood. And he's also going to make a side dish for us. So when I see you again, mm -hmm. we'll have some food out in front of us. But first, uh, we're going to take a quick break from here. We'll back to the studio. And uh, when we come back here, we'll be in the kitchen with Uncle Chef Bo. Thanks, Beck. Appreciate it. <laughs> Giving him a little rib there. He didn't want me to call him Uncle. We're, I don't even know what his age is. But uh, <laughs> uh, but it's going to be fun. I'm just look at the look at the meat. The mm. cuts of meat are just ridiculous. And then they're putting in this oven with 1,100 degrees. Um, so we're going to be back in the kitchen. Uh, and uh, I'm excited yeah, and, and excited to meet Bo. Yeah. Do some cooking. Mm. The guy's a genius. Yeah. He's a genius. And so it's an amazing restaurant. I love the vibe in there, the colors. We obviously were in there alone. Nobody was in there with us yet. Um, but it's just a nice place. And a lot of celebrities go to this place. A mm -hmm. lot. In fact, the Obamas love it. Bieber was just there not long ago. So it is a cool place. And they got a little side room that uh, they can close off for you. If you oh, want. very nice. So when Kelly comes down and visits, we'll put her in the celebrity room. Uh, we'll let's off. not. From her entourage. I'm more of a bar seating type of gal. Well, the bar, did you see how beautiful the bar was? I know, was? exactly. So nice. It's like, man. <laughs> and they got everything that you could possibly want there, so.